Well, hello, 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 everybody. Santa here. My goodness, it has certainly been a strange year. Here I am, not able to come together with you and be out on the streets. But you know, we're going to get through this. And next year, I'm so looking forward to being with you again. Today, I have a book that I'd like to read for you. It's called The Night Before Christmas. It was written over 100 years ago, and this was published in 1956. Twas the night before Christmas, went all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. And in the pictures, you can see that there's a dog and a cat sleeping under the Christmas tree. And on the other picture, you can see two tiny mice sleeping in a slipper. And beside is another mouse sleeping in a matchbox. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. And you can see the children sleeping and in their heads they're thinking of candies and sugar plum candies. And you can see the man going to the window and looking outside to see what was going on in the yard below. When what to my wandering eye should appear? But a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. And there you can see the eight reindeer and Santa in the sleigh, and they're rising up towards the roof of the house. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. And there you can see the dog and the cat are awake now, and they're all looking at Santa Claus. He's called Saint Nick here. That's a name that they often used to call Santa Claus. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke it encircled 
his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. Now, I used to smoke a pipe, but I, I, I don't smoke anymore. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, but away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas!